Okay, so when I'm so I got off, and so you can see what I'm what I'm talking about. Make sure when his arm is in this position, you want to pull it beyond 90 degrees. But most importantly, what I'm talking about is, of course, my ass is going to be on his head, so there's downward pressure here. But I want you to pull up on it like this, so the shoulder comes out of the socket as far as you can. It's not a big deal; you're not hurting him at that point, but you're taking all the slack out. This is one of the key things for a smaller guy to not only make a big guy tap. But remember, on the street, you're not trying to make the guy tap. You may have to incapacitate the arm, and enough that he can't use it now. Not tomorrow, when the swelling has hit, now the joint's dysfunction, but there on the street. So remember, these are the kind of details that people who have to use this for real uh, know, and a lot of sport guys simply don't. So, a couple of details here. Make sure I'm pinning that inside arm if I can. Get my grip here and pull his elbow to my chest. Now the important thing is, is to push down with my hips and leg and pull that socket, that elbow, excuse me, shoulder socket like this. So I'm taking all the slack out. Now look how little I have to turn to get a tap. You may not see that because his hand is here, his tapping hand is near my butt. Thanks buddy. And he's tapping me that way. So watch now how this is commonly done. I'm here and I start rotating. Okay, I've had it rotate about this much maybe. 30 degrees to get, a, to get a tap here. Now, when I do everything the same, but I pull up on, I'm not turning, I'm pulling up on him so that I can feel this, and my hips are pushing into his shoulder socket, so it's very tight on the shoulder. Now I turn. Okay, I turned that much, okay? That's the difference between making a guy tap <laughs> and having to break his arm on the street, especially if he's a big, huge, roided out guy who's attacked you. You know, you're, you're weak because it took you three, four minutes of fighting to get him in this position. You use a lot of energy. Now you have to be able to finish a guy with a minimum of energy. And by finish, I'm not saying, oh, I tapped. Okay, let's start again. I mean ripping the uh, arm out of the socket if you have to so that he can't attack you anymore.